So in this Tobacco University video, I'm gonna go over proper placement of your carbon dioxide sensor. All right, let's go over carbon dioxide sensor placement options for cannabis production. So first off, keep in mind that sensors need or should be calibrated. Follow factory instructions, but often this means allowing it to sit outside away from carbon dioxide sources to establish 400 parts per million. And keep in mind, you yourself are a carbon dioxide source. Note this is important to keep away from cars, people, animals, grills, or anything that may produce carbon dioxide away from the sensor while it is calibrating. The calibration process can take about 15 minutes, but once it is set, you will not have to be sensor will not have to be recalibrated for a year or more. So keep it definitely in the isolated location for at least that 15 minute period. A sensor's reading is only as good as its placement. So where you place your sensor depends on many factors. You need to take these into consideration so that an accurate reading can be obtained. The goal is to provide an accurate reading so the plant's potential yield can be maximized. Also be mindful of the temperature the sensor is exposed to as this could alter the potential readings as well. Now adjustable sensor placement can sometimes be a good idea, particularly for indoor growing operations. This depending on the exact growing space, the sensor may need to be adjusted as the plant grows. Be sure to keep several factors in mind to ensure consistent and accurate readings, even as the plants might be changing as they age. Quality sensors should have a photocell, so this is something you definitely want to be looking out for. Dosing of carbon dioxide should only be during the light periods, since this is when the plants are actively using carbon dioxide. Adding carbon dioxide at night or during a lights off period of the day was it would be not beneficial. So that photo sensor, the goal is to only have it go through the process when there's a sufficient light for this photosynthetic process. During the nighttime or lights off, the uh, sensor should essentially stop dosing carbon dioxide. Now, as with any sensor, be careful. There's usually a sulfur vaporizer warning. This one is stated here as an example. You always want to read the complete instructions with your unit before you using it. And if you are using a sulfur vaporizer, just keep that in mind that in this example, the Atlas 8, they state clearly, and they put it in red, that if you're using a sulfur va vaporizer, this will basically void the warranty and damage the infrared CO2 sensor. So if you're using a sulfur vaporizer, do not have your CO2 sensor in the room at the same time. So generally, there's three sensor placements to be uh, considering. There's above the plant, there's midway up the plant, and there's towards the bottom of the plant. Uh, we find those usually above plant height, at plant height, and below plant height. Note that the injection method can also influence the placement, but in general, assuming even carbon dioxide uh, di distribution, where would you place your sensor? And keep in mind that CO2 is heavier than normal atmospheric air, which is composed mostly of nitrogen. So if you put the sensor placement uh, below plant height, the advantage is, if you put it down here, it ensures the maximum concentration of CO2 is getting to the plant may cause an increase in usage, especially if there's an exhaust or carbon filter um, setup. So again, keep this in mind that if you're placing your sensor below plant height, because carbon dioxide will naturally fall down, you're ensuring that you get the maximum concentration that gets to the plant, but it may cause increase in usage. So what if you put it at the plant height? Well, the advantage is this provides an average reading. The disadvantage is it may be below the injection point uh, will provide a higher uh, than actual reading. So keep in mind where this might be in relation to your dosing or addition of carbon dioxide to the grow space. And lastly, if you choose to put it um, above plant height, the advantages uh, will be the least impacted by exhaust or ventilation systems, can cause a high, but it can cause a higher reading since carbon dioxide is heavier than the air as a disadvantage. So evaluate these positions, look at the plants, look at the growing area, and make a decision on where you would place your sensor.